Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you around a brand new TrendSpider mobile companion app. Now this is an update that I'm very excited about. It's been a long time coming. Many have asked for it, many have begged for it. So I'm very, very happy to finally be able to bring it to you and deliver it. Keep in mind, this app that I'm about to show you is my customized personal version. So to customize the colors, to change the look and feel, to add indicators, to do anything of that sort, to make it your own, do so in the mobile workspace on your computer. Log into TrendSpider and customize the mobile workspace. Anything you do in the mobile workspace will carry over to the mobile app, so you won't have to customize it on the phone itself. That's something that we've done by design, and we'll, we'll touch on why a little bit later in this video. Now, another thing to keep in mind, this is a companion app, meaning it's designed to work with the web-based TrendSpider platform. It's not intended to replace the web app. It's intended to complement it and make it better. And also keep in mind, this is a brand new app. There's going to be many updates to it in the near future to extend more of the web platform's capabilities and functions to it. Things like seasonality, things like uh, uh, in asset insight data, all that kind of stuff will be coming to the app soon. But we're always going to keep it true to its purpose, which is a fast, easy, and lightweight for you to do what you need to do when you're not at your desk. So with that out of the way, without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you around. What you're looking at on your screen here is the main view when you first log in. Now you can see I have a watch list open, the Dow Jones Financials Index, and I have one of the symbols from that watch list selected, ACC, here. This is the basic interface of the platform. It's by default split in half, with the bottom half being things you can do and the top half being the chart itself. I'm going to show you how, first how to change watch lists here. And the way you do that is simply click on the name of the watch list, right? So I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up a watch list selector. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm just going to choose one of my older watch lists, something that I haven't looked at in a while, called Old Ideas 2. Now I have that watch list pulled up here, and I can quickly scroll through it and select any symbols that I want from it. Let's say that I want to add the symbol I'm looking at here. I like the chart. Let's say I want to add it to this watch list. All I have to do to do this is to click on the little star on the top right corner. When I click on that, the star will turn yellow, and that symbol will appear at the bottom of the watch list that I have open. When I click this little star again, it will remove that symbol from the watch list. So it's a very quick and easy way for you to add and remove symbols from whatever watch list is open on your screen. So that's how watch lists work. You can obviously select any of the watch lists the system comes with, such as indice lists or any watch list that you've created yourself, and you can view it and edit it here. The next thing I want to show you is on the Alerts tab. When I click on Alerts, it's going to show me any alerts that I have open, right? And any alerts that have recently triggered or expired. So you can see I have a couple of active alerts here. I can click on one of them, the one on Arlo here, and I can pull up that chart. If I want to filter alerts, if I have a lot of active alerts and I want to filter them down by symbol, I have this handy current symbol button that lets me filter the alerts down and show me only the ones that are active on the symbol I'm on. You can see in Arlo, I have a number of alerts, two active, one that has uh, expired. I can see that very quickly, or I can just scroll through the list and see all the alerts in there as well. Next thing I'm going to show you here is how to flip this uh, uh, split panel view into a full screen and how to access the rest of the platform. So to do that, I'm going to click on the little square at the top right corner of the chart. right? And you can see that that has made my chart full screen instead of half view, split view, as we like to call it. This is really cool because in here I can do a lot of simple stuff with a bigger view. And that lets me do a lot more with the small screen space I have on my mobile device. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how to switch symbols. Let's say I want to switch to a different chart. All I do is click on the symbol name at the top or the little search icon, and it'll open up the symbol search box. And here I can type the name of a company like Microsoft. I can type the name of an asset. I can type a symbol in. I can search for a crypto pair in a particular exchange. I can do anything I need to do to find the symbol that I'm looking for. Now we've opened up the Microsoft chart. You'll notice I have a line chart on. So let's say you know I want to switch that from a line chart to a different type of chart. So I'm going to tap on the word line at the bottom here. It's going to open up the chart type selector, and I'm going to tap on raindrop. And that's going to switch my line chart into a raindrop chart, which allows me to see volume and price together. Remember, raindrops are something very unique to TrendSpider, so you'll be one of the very few people in the world to have raindrops on your phone. Now that I have a full screen raindrop chart open, I can zoom in on it by using a two-finger pinch motion to zoom in and out. 
I can use a single finger to drag the chart around and get a better view at what I'm looking at here. Now I've got a range drop chart up. I'm on the daily time frame. Let's say I want to zoom in and switch to a two hour time frame, right? All I have to do is click on the little time frame button at the bottom and select two hour. You can also in the time frame box switch to multi time frame view where you can select more than one time frame if you so choose. We're going to skip that here just in the interest of keeping this video short. Next, let's say I want to add some indicators to this chart. That's where TrendSpider Mobile Companion is very, very cool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the expand indicator list here. That's going to open my indicator list. And you can see I've got a number of indicators already added. These are indicators that I've added on the web-based TrendSpider platform in the mobile workspace. You can customize them and add them there. And then you can access them and control them from your mobile device. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the first one and I'm gonna add it to my screen. And you can see this adds a VWAP to my screen. And I may wanna change how this VWAP is anchored. So I can select the little three dot menu next to it and I can change it from automatically anchoring this VWAP year to date to say quarter to date. I can change the color and make it pink. I can make it a little bit thicker and I can click apply. And you can see how that has now moved this anchored VWAP on my chart and changed its appearance for me. Anchored and auto-anchored indicators are one of the greatest things about TrendSpider and one of the greatest things about the mobile companion app is they allow you to access them on any symbols that you're on. So let's add a couple more. I'm going to add volume profile to my chart. This volume profile is automatically anchored to the highest high in a range of 100 candles. So I'm going to leave that on my chart and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm also going to add a standard indicator, a 200 period simple moving average. Right, and I'm gonna add a lower indicator because I really like to look at RSI as a trader. So I'm gonna do that as well. Now that I've got my indicators configured, I wanna get this list out of the way, right? Because it's taking up a lot of space. So I'm just gonna tap on any of the indicator names to hide that list and get it out of my way. Now that I have this all set up, I can zoom in, adjust my chart however I like it. And then let's say it's you know late at night and I'm laying in bed and I wanna flip through symbols on my phone. All I have to do to iterate through the watch list I'm on is tap the two little next and previous buttons at the bottom of my screen. You can see I'm currently on the Microsoft chart. That's indicated at the top. The previous chart before Microsoft in my watch list that I have open is X and the next chart is past G, P A S G here. So all I have to do is keep clicking on that and I'll keep rotating through the watch list and bringing me to the next symbol on it. And through this process of just flipping through watch lists, I can very quickly and easily look at what I need to look at without spending a whole lot of time on it. So that's a high level view of the all new TrendSpider Companion mobile app. I hope you like it. Keep tuned. A lot more is coming. This is just the very first version of it, and we intend to make it a lot better and add a lot more capabilities to it. But we thought we'd get this out there and get your thoughts. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, anything at all for it, drop us a note to hello at trendspider.com. It'll get to me, and I'm going to personally read them all because I want to make this app as good as humanly possible. Thank you again for watching and listening to me babble. Have a great day. Goodbye.